Hello and welcome. Today's Knowledge Nugget was filmed in Chicago, one of the world's greatest cities. Today's Knowledge Nugget is about John Dillinger, the world famous badass bank robber from the Depression era 1930s America. John Dillinger was from Indiana. When he was 19 years old, he robbed a grocery store for $50. A judge harshly sentenced him to 10 years in prison. He missed all of the 1920s, the roaring 1920s. Imagine it, he missed all of the cocaine and champagne and sex and all the fun that was happening at the Great Gatsby House and everywhere else in the United States at that time. He gets released from prison in 1930, in the middle of the depression. He said, when I get out of this jail, I'm gonna be the meanest son of a bitch that this world has ever seen. And true to his word, he starts robbing banks and killing people. Pa, 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 pa. And the people of the United States, he became a folk hero and they loved him because so many people had been screwed by the banks, they were happy to see someone screw the banks, even though he was killing people while he was robbing the banks. The FBI invented the term public enemy number one for John Dillinger. Uh, he was the first public enemy number one. And at the height of being uh, the nationwide manhunt for Dillinger, he often attended baseball games at Wrigley Field because he was a massive Cubs fan. And Everyone in the 1930s wore black suits and black hats. There was no facial recognition technology and he could blend in in the crowd. John Dillinger was murdered by the FBI right here, leaving the Biograph Theater. He was betrayed and set up by a Romanian prostitute named Anna Sage. She was in danger of being deported for her criminal activities, so she made a deal to turn in Dillinger, hoping that she would not be deported. She wore an orange dress to signal the agents who she was and that she was with Dillinger. The media changed it to the lady in red because it sounded better, but she was actually wearing an orange dress. Uh, she ended up being deported anyway, even though she had turned in Dillinger. They gunned him down in cold blood, murdered him right here on the streets of Chicago, and the citizens loved Dillinger so much, they took handkerchiefs and put it in the blood to get a souvenir of John Dillinger. The last movie he saw was starring Clark Abel, and it was called Manhattan Melodrama. And that is today's Knowledge Nuggets. Shalom, amigos. E amigas. And the moral of the story is never trust a Romanian prostitute. And I'm sure he was watching the Cubs in 1930 thinking, damn it, I'd really love to see the Cubs win one more World Series. <laughs> Happened right there. Go see baseball games. Ha 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 ha! That this world has ever seen. So he gets out of prison in the middle of the depression. Uh, everyone in America's broke and he's robbing banks, fucking UPS. So it's a fucker leave. Are you gonna be long? No, we're done. You're done.